Hey, this is Mike with Christian Meds. This is part two of Biblical Christian Meditation. I'm breaking down this PDF. Um, there'll be a link in the description down below, so let's get started. So let's just start, and today happens to be Mother's Day, uh, so I just want to wish all the moms out there a happy Mother's Day. Um, my mom passed away a few years back, and um, I really do miss her. And I know that, you know, the time that you have, that you can make a phone call or, you know, just even come over and have a visit, you know, it's really important to moms. So if you have that opportunity, Please make the most of it. So when it comes to this document, I really kind of like the way it's laid out. Um, one of the first scriptures that's basically quoted in it is Romans 12.2. You know, be transformed by re the renewing of your mind. You know, I mean, that's kind of the concept there. You know, part of being a Christian, part of the sanctification process should be giving time to God, you know, whether you're meditating over the Word or you're meditating by just closing your eyes and just listening intently, trying to hear from the Holy Spirit. Um, sometimes it's just a form of prayer, can be meditation. Um, so, kind of when it, it kind of on the, on the bottom of page two, it starts saying, what is meditation from a Greek or a Hebrew point of view? Right? So it says medication, meditation says describe the revolving around and around of the mind something of great importance. It says to turn a subject over and over until one is talking or murmuring to oneself about it. So in other words, part of getting to know God is to visit with him time and time again, to have a clear picture of who he is and how, how much he loves you. You know, all these things are really important. Um, one of the, you know, this is part of what we're supposed to ponder. It's part, part of what we're supposed to concentrate on. It's part of what we're supposed to, um, to supposed to meditate on and, and let it allow our mind and heart to become in sync when it comes to the way we feel about Him, the way we want to worship Him, the way we want to have that relationship with Him. I mean, part of the reason why I wore the shirt, you know, it's not about religion, it's about relationship, is because that's part of what this whole concept is. It's about, you know, really having just this over and over and over again saying, I need you in my life, I need you in my life, I need you in my life, and letting him know that you really want him to come and visit. You really want him to manifest himself to a point where, you know, you don't have a question saying, was that God? <laughs> you know, you want to be able to say, yeah, that was God moving powerfully, you know, and I've watched him move powerfully in my life, and I know he can for you too. And that's really important when it comes to understanding part, the very first part of meditation. It's actually doing this going round and round and round, you know, or, or doing it, doing the same subject over and over and over again. You know, there's some aspect of going from your conscious mind to your subconscious mind that happens when you do the same thing over and over and over again. It becomes a habit. It becomes a changing mechanism for you in your spirit, an aspect that allows God just to, to it doesn't allow God to speak to you more, it's a, it allows you to be more aware of when he is speaking to you. Because So many of the times we're so busy that he's saying, hey, 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 and we're just ignoring him. <laughs> you know, and it happens to me, it happens to everybody, you know, and that is something we need to start being more mindful of. We need to be saying, hey, wait a second. Did I pray to God already about this? Did I talk to God? Did I ask God? You know, 
can I, you know, should I be going in direction A or direction B? You know, it's really important to do those types of things. So, these are just some of my thoughts this week. You know, basically that's the bottom of page two. Um, you know, next week we'll go into a lot more scriptures. There's a whole bunch of scriptures on the bottom of page three. Um, I think we'll probably end up going through a bunch of those and end up, you know, talking about those and how they, um, how that just kind of ties into the concept of what it means to be meditating in a Christian sense. So, hope you have a pleasant week and be blessed.